Most are familiar with the underspin, but are you familiar with the overspin or as first gen fishing calls, the top spin? Okay, the top spin. This is a really, really unique action, okay, from the top spin. Actually started throwing this late summer. Love it for smallies, okay, but I've actually had success during the winter time as well. And I think it's because it's something and an action that they're just not used to seeing. So let's take a look at this really quick, and I'll show you one of the presentations for us. You got five or six colorations um, on the head. This is the Molten Crawl. You guys know I love this color. I um, also like the gold splatter, same as the jaw dropper for the Susquehanna and the Allegheny. For the Upper Potomac, I like the Molten Crawl. You can get it in a shad, a glimmer shad, a naked shad, um, and of course, uh, green pumpkin black. Um, and it comes in about four four sizes, four or five sizes, and uh, four weight sizes. So like you've got 3 16th, quarter ounce, eighth ounce, and a half ounce. I prefer the 3 16th, but I do also throw... Um, the quarter ounce if I'm on the tidal Potomac for largemouth, okay? And that's really where the first introduction to this came um, was from one of the anglers in the tackle, uh, I'm sorry, in the Toyota series for MLF. Um, and I've just applied it to smallmouth fishing. Um, it's got a, you can get a number two, number three willow blade on it. It's got that a, a AFW wire. So it's really, really crazy um, in the water. Um, obviously it's got that Mustad Ultra, uh, Ultra Point hook, just like the jaw dropper. Um, and then it's inset three DIs. You can kind of check out. It's also got the gills, which is really awesome. Plus the keeper there. Really love it. This size is, like I said, is a three sixteenth with a three aught. Okay. So you don't want to go over like, I think the spec is two and a half to three and a half, but I would stay like two and a half to three inch. Um, because really this is set up and most of the other people that I've seen throwing this, especially on the MLF level, um, throw it with a swim bait. I prefer though to throw the top spin with a little different action, okay, for small mouth. Um, you certainly can use swim baits, okay. I just prefer a different action um, in the different coloration patterns. It's basically the same action. Um, when you're thinking about it as it's moving through, you see how that's going to be moving um, as opposed to that paddle tail. It's just a different action. These are my primary ones for the top spin, okay? But you certainly can use, um, obviously, a swim bait. Now, the swim bait's also going to add a little bit more weight, okay, to this presentation. That could be good or could be bad. For me, because I'm fishing typically in two and a half to three feet of water in my river systems, I don't want, want a heavier paddle tail. I want more of a lighter because I want this thing to be kind of a lot more finessey, okay? Because you can swim it, you can jerk it, swim it, pop it, all these things. And one of the best things about this is it almost never, ever gets hung up. You can work it through trees. You can work it through areas. This guard, more or less, is right above the hook. You can see that. And it actually, because of that, if it hits something, if it hits something, it bends it back. So it, it just, it's phenomenal, phenomenal. Love it for small mouth. Um, and I think it's actually doing as, as well early winter um, than it did in um, the fall and late summer because it's just something that they're not used to seeing. Plus, you can get some flash. You can change your blades out yourself if you want to go to um, Silver Blade. Um, you know, any other coloration you want to want to go with your blade. Um, but the standard blade, willow blade's fine. Like I said, number twos and number three willow blades. Um, and so it's really, really, really awesome. You've got the three-aught, uh, three-aught, five-aught, and six-aught hooks, okay? So with that, you're going to be able to increase that size of, say, whatever soft plastic you want to present, okay? Um, just a great little bait, Um you should be able to find it, like I said, top spin, first gen, okay? First gen goes great with the jaw dropper, okay? The jaw dropper is a, more of a bottom, on the bottom, working it along the bottom, crawling it on the bottom a little bit. This one, you can pot, you can kind of keep it above the bottom um, for the most part and work it. Work it slow in the wintertime. That's what's been the most effective. A lot of times when you throw this into a deeper hole and you just let it fall, that first pop that you give it 
Or if you want to, if you're reeling, if you're, you know, if you don't like the pop motion or the twitch motion, and you're just going to wait for it and then start to reel back, just reel half cadence of what you normally would reel, and it'll move. And that is when significantly I've seen the wintertime bites come, either on that fall and first, or letting it fall all the way to the bottom. Remember, you're, if you're less than three or four feet of water, letting it fall all the way to the bottom and sit for a second, count, and then twitch it, and then okay, and work that out. You certainly can later later in the spring and in the summer, like I did late summer. You certainly can move a lot more cadence, a lot more uh, retrieve, a lot more speed with it to work that blade a lot more um, to get that action. But in the winter time, you want to go a little slower, okay. So that thing is sitting almost like this in the water with your presentation, okay? And this is moving, all right? And so if you let it go down and fall, it's going to hit like this, and then you're jerking it up, okay? So that's just a couple things. Again, these are the soft plastics I like. There's a couple brands out there um, that you can look at, look into. You can... Um, Certainly use Excite Baits is a good one. Reaction Innovations has got a really good one. Um, but really you want to stay in that two and a half to three inch size for this, especially for that three-aught, three-sixteenth up to like quarter ounce.